What's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you Peer Board. This one lets you create a community forum. So the idea is to create your own community outside of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of that, because basically they own those social medias. You are not the owner, and you're subject to their terms and conditions and many other conditions that, that they put. So this gives you another option. So right now, Peer Board seems uh, really simple, in my opinion, and we're going to see that in this video. Now, who would I recommend this to? I would recommend it to people who have a very specific niche of people who are interested in a certain topic. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just say that someone's interested in, for example, I don't know, um, cars, right? And they don't want to go through all the other hassle of going into the Facebook and watching a bunch of ads, watching a bunch of other posts, and just a lot of mess over there, when you could just have a simple forum where everyone's just gonna talk about cars. So you have to consider if someone is gonna actually use this or not before you actually jump into this deal. Now, right now there's a lifetime deal and I'm gonna show you that first and then we're gonna jump over to the peer board dashboard to check it out and see if it's actually something that you might like or not. So let's jump over there. All right, guys, this is the deal that's going on right now, and it's $59 for a lifetime deal. And if you guys would like to support me, that link will be in the description. Now, what does $59 get you? Let me take you to the plan right here. And the most important parts are these. Unlimited admins, so no limit on that. Custom domain, you can add your own custom domain. You can host it with them, use your own link, or you can host your own custom domain. You got WordPress plugin and SDK for integrations. Direct support, you can use Zapier with this. And the other thing that's interesting is this. You get one custom domain, 100 gigabytes of content. So that is fairly enough unless you plan on just uploading a bunch of images every single day. Then that might reach really quickly, right? The limit might reach really quickly. 1,000 active members. So 1,000 members is quite a lot unless you're planning to go really serious with this and grow in the future or you have a bunch of users already then 1,000 is not enough, I would suggest jumping to the double code, which is the suggestible plan because you get unlimited active members and you get to remove the peer board branding. Now in the footer, there's a little branding there that you can remove it with the double code. And that's only $118, so not a bad price for unlimited users. Now the downside about this, and that's the main part about it, is that the dashboard is pretty simple, right? It's, it's plain, there's not a lot going on which could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're looking for a really flashy, nice looking, modern um, template right here, theme, then this not might be for you. Let me show you how the user is gonna uh, view this because we got some um, settings right here that are for the admin. This is a user dashboard. This is how they're gonna view it. So in this case, they got the main post right here. They got the welcome screen. So they got the information for the welcome, all the information like what is SaaS Master, who are our members, community guidelines, all that. You can edit this uh, as an admin and you can view posts right here. Something that I dislike really quickly here is that you don't view the image. In this post, I added an image and it's not viewing it right here. So you got to click on it to actually view the image. So we have the title, it's in the general um, tab. You got this deal, so that's my description that I just added. It can be as long as you want or short as you want. The image that I've added, you can upvote, so only upvote, no downvoting. You can share this with these links or the copy that link available. You can also comment. So in the comments, I made two tests. One, adding an image because you have that option here and the comment just like that, all right? And you can also unsubscribe to stop getting all those notifications in case it just goes really wild, okay? Let's go back here. And these categories right here are the ones that I've added. Now they can be as many as you want. Right now I've only added two, so it looks pretty plain right there. Also, I wish they give you the option to add something there. I mean, I don't know, a banner or just anything else so it doesn't look plain in case you don't have as many categories. Okay, back to my admin user. So this is my admin one, and let me show you really quickly the settings. So first off, you got the members, right? So you got the members right here. We would have Matt Max testing this out and we can convert them into an admin member or a blocked user. So in this case, if they are disrespectful or doing something they're not, you can block the user. You can view the admins here, the blocked ones, the invited, and you can invite members. This one is a really good option 
because it lets you upload a CSV that you already have and just invite a bunch of people. It gives you a really quick start for your community. So in this case, if you're already doing email marketing, well, you should have a big list of users that might be interested in joining right here. So you can invite by thousand, right? So daily invites available, 1000 a day, okay? Again, if you are in the 1000 plan, then if you reach that limit, then there's no point in inviting more. But if you're in the unlimited one, you can invite 1000 every day, every day. We have the edit categories. Like I said before, there's only two I've added. You can add a little icon, the name, and the posts that are in there, the user groups, you can flag it, you can lock it, you can email it. And I'll just create a new one right now. So I'll just say new and create. And there it is. And we can add the image again. Fairly easy, not a bunch of settings, just like that, add a group. You can edit groups right here. So if you wanna create user groups, so we got deals, user groups, and the LCD groups. Again, nothing fancy, just add them. We can change the color if we want, just in case you wanna do that. And you can make it private or biz or public. You got the general settings right here. So in this case, we got make, make post readable and searchable without registration. So they can just view the forum or your community and they can view everything without having to sign in, which I wouldn't think that's a good idea because you actually want them to join. You can show them uh, show them a preview of a post. So if it's, if it's a long post, they have to log in to actually view the rest. Or you can disable open registration and only do it by invite by administrators. May still require both first and last name. Fairly simple. External login URL if you want to change that. Enable social logins. Um, I wouldn't find the reason why not to do this. I guess the best one is if they actually use this. So they register, right? Enable post sharing. So remember, we saw that in the post. You can have those little buttons available or disable them. I guess the more they share it, the better, the best, right? So I would keep that enabled. We have the hosting part right here, which gives you options. So right now, this is my link, which is pretty nasty. But you can do an alias and keep it at pureboard. So for example, let's just say sasmaster.atpureboard.com. Or I can use my own custom domain and go into my DNS settings and point my custom domain there. You can use the main domain or the subdomain, or you can install it on WordPress or integration with SDK. So you have all those options available. In my opinion, the best one would be custom domain and have them just deal with the hosting. Unless you want to do it yourself, then use WordPress. Integrations. Um, Zapier it was available. It's meant for kind of like more for reports type, not for doing stuff inside of the peer board. The copy. So the copy would be the information that's going to be sent out. So community name, SAS master. Description of it. So I can set my own right here. The posting guidelines. The invite email title. So in this case, you're invited to and it grabs a community name. But in case you want to change that, it's available right there. And the invite email. So the invite email, which looks like this, this is how the invite email looks like. You could change all that information over here. All right. And really important, the languages that are available. So it's only English, Russian, and Chinese. So no Spanish for us. So no luck for Latin America yet. So I hope they add that. Customization, you can change the colors. In this case, it comes with orange as default, but I added green. The community logo, so you can see that it's add, added over here. And I guess if we delete on where we just saw that, SAS Master, we can just keep the logo and maybe add a rectangle logo instead of a squared one. The theme logo, the theme color, so it's green, my case, background, text color, the fonts, um, only three available, so you only have those. Heading font family, again, only four available. Additional header links, so in this case, on the top, you can see support. I added that link right there and it will take you to another site. So I just said support and it goes to somewhere else. I could say something like contact, um, a form that you might want to fill out or whatever you want. You can add those links right there. So it's pretty useful to have that there. And again, I'm only in one code, but if I were in two, I can remove the peer board attribution in the footer. So you can see this powered by peer board. You can remove that by doing that there. Next thing we have is email. So notifications are by default on your registered email for Peerboard. But again, you could change it by using a custom email right here. The billing. Well, we know what the billing is. Let me remove that. Don't want to see my code that I got. Okay, so those are the basic settings for all of this. Um, what do I dislike about this? The registration. Let me show you what I mean. Let me log out of this. And the way this works, if I were to register, I have to go to sign in. So it doesn't say register. That's something I really hate 
because people might not know that you want to register. Maybe they're just going to see sign in and they don't see register anywhere. They're going to think that, well, I can't. But you actually can. All you have to do is add your email and go to sign in. It'll send you that email to invite and then you register. And there's actually no registration on it unless you ask for the name and last name. If you tick that on. Every time that you want to log in to PureBoard, you have to do this. So you have to click there and it'll send you a magic link, which will take you to the login. And the magic link is this right here, right? So in this case, you verify. This is the first email, but the second one would just be to log in. But again, you have to do that every time you want to log in. So that could be kind of confusing and not so straightforward because it doesn't say registered. Again, if you sign in, you have to do that every single time instead of using the email and password. And you can use Google and Facebook and LinkedIn to log in also. So that's just something I don't like about PureBoard, just so you know. Okay. So basically, that is how PureBoard works. Let me show you the roadmap before we head out. This is the roadmap. It's interesting. This is what's coming soon. So internal notification system. So you get notification tap. So right now, if there's a new post or something, there's no notification. Um, read states and post comments, post types, category subscription, user mentions. This will be interesting, the user mentions, because you might want to mention someone else, just like you do on Facebook where you tag another user. And later on, they're coming with more integrations, posted comments, comments, widgets, and the one-on-one -on -one chat. This one is also a really good one because just like Facebook, you got Messenger and you can chat one-on-one, -on -one, which is, I would think it's important. Plus, you can do some feature requests and all of that. Um, this roadmap is barely launched, um, not launched, they got nine months ago, but they barely got this information and that's what they're working on because they just barely launched on AppSumo. So I know they will be getting a bunch of feedback and they might be modifying this because people will ask for things that they might need more promptly than what they have in store for the next, for the coming soon, right? Which is just something that you should consider. Okay, last but not least, should you get pure board? Basically, in, in my case, I don't like the look. It's too simple for me, but it might be good for someone else, maybe for a more mature audience. And again, who is PureBoard for? I think it's for a very specific niche of users that you might want to create a community for. If you don't have a very specific niche, then you might not be successful creating that community because people might, might want to jump to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of those. Now, why would someone jump into community? Well, because they hate Facebook, they hate Twitter, they hate going in through, for example, um, I don't know, business post and then memes and then fun post and just whatever and then ads and all that and they might not find the interesting stuff there. So you might want to have a specific community where you have everything really clean and nice. So if someone wants to talk just about, I don't know, BMW cars, well, that's the only thing that they're going to talk about and they know they will find it in your community. So that's a very specific niche. So that just, that's my suggestion for you guys. If you have a very specific niche, then this could be successful for you. Now again, $118 for the unlimited users. I think it's a good deal. Just sets up with a 200 gigabyte content storage because why would I be careful about that? Because there's no way of like mass deleting or there's no option to say delete posts that are older than like one year or two years. They might implement that later. But again, you could hit that 200 gigabyte limit and then you have to go one by one and go delete images and posts. So that could be annoying. So just things to consider for pure board if you are considering getting it. Well, there you go, guys. That's a video for it. And like I said before, if you guys would like to consider um, supporting me, that link will be in the description. It gives you a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.